Sasha here. Today I'm going to show you how I make calendula oil. I have calendula growing everywhere at the moment and it's so gorgeous. So I have been dehydrating it up to make calendula oil. Now what's so good about calendula oil? It has an amazing affinity for the skin. So it's really calming and really soothing. It's got antiseptic, antibacterial, anti-inflammatory properties to it. It's great for bruising, inflammation. If you've got some old wounds that don't seem to be healing, it's great for that, but also it's just great to put on dry, scaly hands as well, which is where I usually find its benefit. There are heaps of other uh, benefits for calendula as well, but again, the main one is the skin, and that's probably why you'll find it in a lot of skincare preparations. So, when you go and dehydrate your calendula, we're not just dehydrating the petals, we really want to dehydrate the whole part of the flower because it's particularly in the, the center here where you get that real active ingredient in there, that those constituents that really, um, with the oils and that. So make sure that when you're dehydrating it, dehydrate the whole uh, flower head. Okay, so, I am going to measure out about 30 grams of dehydrated calendula leaves. Now I originally got this recipe uh, from Cammie McBride. She is an amazing herbalist. Uh, that does a lot of free video series on the internet and this is where I've got that recipe from. There are heaps of other recipes uh, to make calendula oil that uh, don't involve a few of these steps but I quite like the way Cami involved the use of alcohol and the way she powdered up her calendula leaves uh, to get more uh, of the active constituents into the oil. So basically we've got that dried calendula and we're going to powder it up Okay, so once we've powdered that up, and so it makes sense, doesn't it? If we powder it up, we're actually just creating more surface area for the oil to get into. So that's the reason behind that. Now, so I'm just going to pop that in here. Right. Now, here's a step that Cami McBride does in order to get access more of the active constituents in the calendula, and that is to add alcohol. I notice a lot of the other recipes on the internet don't do that. They just steep the oil in the calendula, which is fine. But I really like the idea of this step because I think it's good for uh, preserving. But again, anything that we can do to access the most of the active active constituents in these calendula flowers is a good thing to me. Now, I happen to work at a distillery, Sunny Hill Distillery, so I've got the best of the best uh, vodka here too. So we're using vodka. Now, we're going to use about 15 grams of vodka. And then what we're going to do, which is, you know, not very much, maybe a tablespoon or so, and then we're going to pour that in there. And then we're really just going to mix that around. And then, once that's all sort of incorporated, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, place a lid on that, like some glad rag for a plate, and we're going to let that sit for 12 hours so it can really uh, get in there and access that calendula. And then we're going to do the next step, which is adding in the oil. Okay, so we're back. So I've let this uh, powdered calendula uh, sit uh, for 12 hours. Covered, might have been touched on, but anyway. Now we get to the good part, we're going to actually make the oil. So we've got our calendula here. I'm gonna tip that into a jar. Now also too, if you, you can powder this up more, uh, my process is not amazing, uh, but it's powdered it up now. Now I'm going to use apricot kernel oil because that's what I've got on hand, but olive oil, um, jojoba oil, almond oil, 
grapeseed oil is another low cost uh, oil that can you can use. I love olive oil, but I find it's quite it's quite thick on the skin and it tends to sort of clog my pores a little bit more. So I, I tend to like to use a lighter oil. But whatever you've got on hand is probably going to be fine. And we've all got our favourites. So now I'm going to add in about a cup of oil. Now, in Cami McBride's original recipe for this, she then um, blends this up again to really get things sort of mixed in nicely. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to give mine a good shake. And then I'm going to pop that in a, a sunny spot. I've got a window out in my lounge room and I'm going to pop that there where it's going to keep get nice and warm. The warmth is actually what's going to help uh, release those constituents into the oil as well. So basically you want to leave that out in a warm spot and periodically through the day you want to just come out and you want to give it a good shake. Now, like Cammy McBride does in her recipe, if you wanted to actually blend that uh, maybe three times a day uh, you can get really really get that warmth in there. You can totally do that as well That's probably going to allow you to access even more of the constituents in the calendula, but for me, I'm just going to be Shaking it up uh, at various points in the day living in the Sun and I'm going to leave that there for a week and we should be all ready to go So after the seven days, we're going to then drain that out and I happen to have one here that I prepared earlier so basically, and with this one here, I didn't actually powder up the calendula quite as much. I used a different machine and it wasn't quite as powerful. So now all you need to do is get a funnel and some kind of really tight weave uh, cloth. All right, and then we're just going to tip, tip that into there. And that's going to take a little while to sort of drain through. But look at that colour. Isn't that colour amazing? It's absolutely gorgeous. So again, so many beautiful benefits with this calendula oil. So that's all drained through now. I've squeezed all this out too. And then after this gorgeous beautiful cleanser oil. Look at the colour of that. Fantastic homemade lemon. Oh. Now I'm just going to decant that into a bottle just to make it a bit easier to use. Oh. So there you have it. That's how I make cleanser oil and like I said I sort of roughly uh, use Tammy McBride's recipe who's an amazing herbalist. I, you know, recommend you check her workout. She's got lots of stuff when it comes to herbs and that. But there you have it, an easy calendula oil recipe. Great thing to have around the home. I'd love to hear if you guys make calendula oil, how you make it, what you use it for. But there you go. I hope you enjoyed this video today. Please subscribe to my channel, like, comment, share. And I hope you have an awesome day. See ya.